Exploring the journey, describing your commute in English. Hello everyone and welcome to our new lesson in our series on conversational English. Today, we're focusing on talking about daily routines and habits, specifically our morning routines. The spotlight for this video is on describing the commute, and even more specifically, we'll discuss scenery and landmarks along your commute. Let's jump in. Before you start describing your commute, it's essential to expand your vocabulary to include words that paint a picture of the scenery. Here are some common words and phrases. Urban landscape. This term describes a city environment with buildings, roads, and other infrastructure. Rural landscape. This refers to a countryside or village setting, often with farms, fields, and animals. Suburban landscape. This term is used to describe an area that is a mix of urban and rural, typically residential zones outside city centers. Traffic congestion. This is a fancy term for heavy traffic or a traffic jam. Try to include these terms in your daily conversations to become comfortable using them. When you're describing your commute, mentioning landmarks can make your narrative more vivid and interesting. Landmarks are recognizable natural or man-made features that help us navigate or give character to a place. Here are some common examples. Skyscrapers. Tall, multi-story buildings found in cities. Statues or monuments. Structures created to commemorate a notable person or event. Parks or green spaces. Open areas intended for recreation or environmental conservation. Historic buildings. Buildings that have significant historic or architectural value. Bridges. Structures built over obstacles like rivers, roads, or railways, to allow passage. Tunnels. Underground passages for roads or railways. Try to use these words when describing landmarks on your commute. Now that we've got our vocabulary sorted, let's put it all together. Suppose your commute is through the city, your description could be something like this. Every day, I pass through the bustling urban landscape on my way to work. There's a towering skyscraper that always catches my eye, right next to a beautiful park filled with morning joggers. Sadly, traffic congestion is common, but it gives me more time to enjoy the view. Remember, the more details you include, the more engaging your story becomes. And that wraps up our lesson on describing the commute, focusing on scenery and landmarks. I hope these new words and phrases help you share your daily journey in a colorful and engaging way. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try to use these new vocabulary words in your everyday English conversations. We look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Until then, safe commuting and happy learning.